Hello everyone, this is another CSX Sky 2005, and this is a Seaward Coastline Rail Fin Productions. Yes, I did change my production name to Seaward Coastline Rail Fin Productions, as the Seaward Coastline used to run through my hometown until it merged with Louisville and Nashville to create the Seaboard system, which Merge up chassis system to create a CSX, so we have two engines up here that is from our Atlantic coastline now. You know, the Seaboard coastline 1501 or 1504, it is a uh, Baldwin Lake Pacific. Let's see, from the Southern Pacific. <laughs> and then I have a. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, somebody tell me what this is diesel is, because I don't know. Yeah, but let's get on with the episode today. This is my last rail corridor video. It is episode 5. <sighs> and today we are going to be talking about the West Coast and Amtrak's long distance. So let's get on. So California, um, um. So there will be upgrade service on the Surfline and San Joaquin and Capital Corridors, and also a new service between San Luis Obispo and San Jose. Shall be good. No Bakersfield to Los Angeles. The San Pacific won't let. And try to get on to, oh, to the pass. And also the California High, and the dreaded California High Speed Rail project there gets completed. Can somebody else take that over, this project? Because the stay is so slow. It's like they're building it with old people. It's like they're using old people to construct it. Oh yeah, um... Los Angeles to Las Vegas, um... I don't know why Amtrak decides to take that over, because Brightline West... I'm sorry, sort of planning in the Desert Wind... Which was a former Amtrak, Los Angeles to Las Vegas, it took... Seven hours to get to. Which I don't understand why. Los Angeles, Las Vegas, traveling at 200 miles an hour per take. I don't know, two hours, an hour and 30 minutes, maybe. But she, my dad, said it's a profitable route. It is. There'll also be service to Los Angeles, Riverside, Indio, Phoenix, and Tucson. All right, so let's take it home. Oh gosh, it's something all aboard him track commercial. So the Cascades quarter runs from Eugene to Portland, Seattle, and Vancouver, British Columbia. Not too much here. I was assuming upgrades would mean maybe a new track. It could mean higher speeds because the Calgo is designed for 125 miles. I don't think maybe like maybe like 110 somewhere. And the CMS chargers have a top speed of 125, but obviously they're limited to 79 on this route and most of the routes except for on the Michigan line. And whenever they get to um. Run on the Empire Quarter, which that's 110. In between St. Louis and Chicago's 110, also. So I'm really good. Upgrade this to 110. So maybe they could upgrade track. Actually, build new track apart from NSF and Union Pacific. Because BNSF owns, um, 
most of the track between Portland and Seattle, Vancouver. I think that's owned by Canadian Pacific. And then Portland to Eugene. It used to be owned by the Southern Pacific until they were acquired by the Union Pacific. That's the only track now, but Union Pacific and Venus have worked together in this area. Such as, uh, no, not Bridal Vale. That is a real place, by the way. It's in Washington. There's a. Uh, some trains meet there. And you can also see BNSF run along the Columbia River Gorge with a nice view of Mount Hood in the background. Which, that would be a great place to be. Alright, so let's get on to. Oh, what to do with these Amtrak's long distance routes? They're loose money, they're not profitable. We need TLC, it seems like. So, yeah, same track, long distance, I have my three favorite ones. That would be the Silk Meteor, Empire Bullet, California Zephyr, which I have not written any of them, but I plan on writing them in the future. And if you don't know, um, this one's Eastern Long Distance from New York to Miami. Western long distance from Chicago to Seattle. And um, Western long distance from Chicago to Emeryville, California, which, if you don't know, is just outside San Francisco. So yes, um, Amtrak doesn't have, doesn't have any planes to upgrade the long distance service. There's not really anything they could do. Because they are upgrading the Superliner cars, the Superliner Refresh. And the new ALC 42s, some of them will take over the massive fleet of P-42s, which these are P-42s built by General Electric from 1996 to 2001. And then if Siemens ALC-42 will take over a few of these and take over the longer intercity routes, such as one of my favorites to Carolina for New York to Charlotte. Another route such as the Pennsylvania, yeah, the Pennsylvania. And other long distance routes, so I've actually never seen a P forty two before. I have written I think it was the Piedmont or the Carolinian in kindergarten when I went to the Children's Museum in Greensboro. It was pretty fun. Although I don't I think it was the Carolinian. That's one of my favorite. Because I remember getting into the Amfleet coaches and sitting down. And we were going really fast. That's the only thing I remember. And then on the way back, we took the bus. So I sure I fell asleep on. But yeah. So, what's next? Um... I have two options here. I'm going to do my top 10 favorite locomotives and the top 10 places that I want to go to, which I'm working on. Top 10 places I want to go to more. I have my top 10 favorite locomotives, which locomotives is going to be very hard, but I'm going to try and do a little history on them. Mm. Should be tired. But yeah, so that's pretty much it. It's <coughs> sorry, over I made made everybody go deaf. But yeah, I don't know what to do. Except for these two, I might continue the series with. Commuter rails, uh, light rail extensions, all that.
And maybe think of a North Carolina service for the new Amtrak routes in North Carolina, so... I don't know. This is the end. Thank you for watching. Check me out on YouTube. Coast and Bridge Productions for anything. Roller coasters and bridges. Reptiles 2905 or anything. Wildlife Coast and Bridge Trains for... This channel. This channel. Goes to Ridge Productions in the channel you're watching now, CSS Sky 2005. And my personal life, too. Well, not too personal. Like anything else, it doesn't have to do with Ghost of Bridge and Trains. And check me out on YouTube. I mean, Instagram for Reptiles 2905 for updates and pictures of animals and. Uh, And check me out on Discord, CSX Guide 2005, where you can, where you can also see updates and other things, and chat with other people like you and me, like you and me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and comment. I say just hit 8 subscribers. I'm very happy about that. Hopefully we can get to 10 soon. I can do a little special. Maybe you'll put 10 subscribers as the top 10 places I want to go to video. For... 10 subscribers, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. So, as I said, we're going to be talking about the West Coast, so there's not too much on the West Coast. And I've already talked about um, Denver to Cheyenne, Denver to Pueblo, so I don't have to talk about that. Okay. Oh, really? Okay, as I said, we're talking about the West Coast today, so it's not too much, and I've already talked about, um, Denver to Cheyenne, Cheyenne to Pueblo. Really? Uh, maybe if they go... Uh. Oh, come on. So, what's next? Um... I might continue this service... A service? It's not a service. Oh my goodness. I might continue the series, uh... Later, maybe like commuter rail extensions or... My ideas, I think it's about... I was thinking about Sunrail or um, my local or the Charlotte area transit system. The cats, as it's called. I might do a video on their proposals for the Silver Line and the aforementioned Red Line. Or oh, goodness.